just me against the system. Gerben Van Den Heuvel's trouble started on this road in Hamilton in February, driving his Toyota RAV4, a vehicle he's had since it was new, first as a lease in 2018, then he bought it through a dealership. But when Hamilton police pulled him over on his way to work, his life was about to change. His first instincts was that I was driving a stolen vehicle. Gerben hadn't broken any traffic laws. A license plate reader like this one on a patrol car gave the officer reason to stop him. He said my plates were not registered to the vehicle. The vehicle was towed away and impounded. He explained I didn't own the vehicle, so I wasn't allowed to be in the vehicle anymore. But he had ownership documents and he had insurance and the dealership could vouch for him. It didn't matter. According to the registration system, the car was owned by a wrecking company that doesn't exist anymore. Uh, I was very confused. Gerben says he went to every service Ontario location in Hamilton trying to get this resolved. He called his MPP, he called the MTO, and in the meantime, he had no use of his car for 50 days. You heard right. It was a total of 50 days that I didn't have my vehicle. No vehicle and mounting expenses for someone else's mistake. So the cost alone for the for the impoundment was a uh, $300 tow charge and then $3,700 of impound fees for the 50 days that my vehicle was in impoundment. The car wasn't stolen. Gerben could prove it at additional expense. I had to pay Service Ontario to release my documents to me. I had to pay uh, paralegal for the affidavit. Add in having to take five days off work for appointments to get everything straightened out. And then? Said, we fixed it. Go get your vehicle. Please be happy. A spokesperson for the Ontario government told us the mistake was caused at the dealership and bureaucrats aren't at fault, but still it took the government nearly two months to fix it. One's willing to take ownership of how this problem happened. A mistake in the system somewhere that this driver has been left to pay for. Financial reimbursement would be great, um, but even just to find out how it happened. Sean O'Shea, Global News, Hamilton.